Hey guys, welcome back. So, I know that a lot of you guys um, agreed with my rant when I posted the video when I went to the DMV. You guys, I couldn't stress enough how much of a nightmare that was that day. And I didn't go back for a while, but I did end up going back. So I wanna share with you guys my experience at the DMV. So I, this was something that I had to get done. It wasn't something that, you know, I, I, I had to do something with my license and I couldn't, it's not something that you mail. I had to go in there in person. And lately I've been doing a lot of things that calls for me showing my ID and it still says Connecticut on it. So I had to go switch that over. And when I got there, I went during the week the last video that you guys saw, it was on a Saturday morning, and I will never do that again, at least not during the, this thing that we're in. Um, but I went there during the week, and I was in and out of work all morning. I went very, very early in the morning, way before they even opened. So everything was pretty organized. So if I stood in line, I had my coffee, my book, and my lawn chair, like my little beach chair. Oh yeah, I was prepared to be there for a while because I'm like, you know what? If I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna come back and I'm staying and I'm getting everything done. So um, when I got there, um, the line was already wrapped around the parking lot and I was there probably almost two hours before they opened. So I was like, all right, let me go ahead and figure out, you know, what I'm gonna do here. So I was just sitting there waiting, but what they were doing, they were very organized. They were very organized. So what they did was, um, two of the um, you know DMV people went around giving out numbers. There's certain numbers, you know, that uh, there's a certain amount of numbers that they're giving out. If they run out of numbers, then whoever doesn't have a number has to just come back the next day, which is tragic. So I thought that I was going to be one of those people. So fortunately, I was not. I was given a number. So what they did was um, they gave everyone a number and they just sent you home they didn't let anybody in the dmv even when it opened at that point um they send you home whoever had the the numbers you know obviously in the front of the line they were already going through the process but they weren't allowing a lot of people inside of the dmv so that's what made the pro process even longer um but they were giving out numbers telling everyone you know what go get some coffee go home we'll give you a certain amount of time they told you you know how long it would take for your number to be called now what they did do they took everybody's cell phone number and they sent them a, a series of three text messages so based on your number you give that you go into the DMV first give that number and then they give you a brand new number with that brand new number that's the number that's going to be called so they send you a text message letting you know you know how close you are they send you a message letting you know to come back to the DMV and then they send you a final message letting you know that your number is being called. When I got there, things were flowing so well. Like I gotta give the DMV credit. It was bad on the outside just looking at the line, but their process was, I didn't have any complaints like at all. They were very organized, they were very nice everything was clean you know they they made sure that everybody was getting to where they needed to go um, you know they they were very helpful with everyone who didn't know you know what was going on I went in there my number was called I sat down gave them all my information did what I had to do and I left and I gotta tell you like at first glance I'm like oh my god this is gonna be a hot mess because of everything that's going on you know but Unfortunately, these are the times that we're living in right now, so we kind of have to go with the flow of things, you know. Um, if you're in the Jersey State area, I'm letting you know, right, or any area, there is no right day. There is no better day to go to the DMV. You just got to pick a day where you feel like you are patient enough to wait in line. That's really where it's at right now with the DMV. Um, but as far as the process, once you get back there, everything just ran really smooth and I, I had no complaints out. It wasn't a stressful situation for me. Like I was, I was good. So I did what I had to do and now I do not have to go back to the DMV for anything, <laughs> at 
at least not anytime soon. So there you guys have it. That is my story of me finally going back to the DMV and accomplishing my goal into getting what I needed to get done. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys have experienced. If you guys have gone to the DMV or haven't gone, hopefully this encourages you guys to know that even though, you know, I mean, each DMV is different, but I guess it all depends where you are and what state you're in and how nice or not people are. You know, some some places are just like, I don't know. To me, I find that some places are rude. Some places are just, you know, they act like they don't want to be there. You know, everyone's different. So leave a comment below. Let me know what your experience has been. If you've gone during this crazy time that we're in. Um, and if not, then more power to you. Good for you good for you it's a long process but it wasn't stressful for me so let me know what you guys think if you haven't done so please subscribe to my channel hit like and share and don't forget to hit that notification button so you guys can get notified whenever i pop up on your feed have a great day guys i'll see you guys later Toodles.